Hello and welcome. This is S Terry Rank. Today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription. I'm going to try out Casey's mod for the first time. I want to go ahead and just do a brand new start because I think last time I clicked it and I noticed it was going to be kind of a involved process. So let's see what we can do. No hook. You do not start with the fish hook item. You may not reroll card choices. Pricey pelts. The trapper's pelts cost more. And smaller backpack. Your back. Your pack can hold one less item. Oops, excuse me. I think we'll go with no clover. And let's try it out. Your predecessor gave up too easily. Less belts for you. Interesting that it uh, immediately punishes me for giving up that game. Okay. I wonder if pelts accumulate too as you play. Wouldn't mind if I examine those pelts of yours. I can only have the one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Feel nice might be a good one. Carburetor sigils played. A copy of this created in your hand. Hmm. It'll only take two blood. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm just gonna skip the dialogue since it'll probably be sort of the routine stuff anyways. Um, let's see. I always forget who this is. Um, this is an item and I've already got full item, so I need to either do this one or that one. I guess we'll go this one. Alright, sacrifice. We'll do the bullfrog. And let's power up. Hmm. I guess the field mice might be a good idea. There we go. So now they have a little bit more usability to them. That's good. Okay. Won't be able to get much on the board. We could get the stoat down, but then a skink is going to attack us. So that's no good. Let's just uh, get a stoat over on the other area and uh, keep going. Do a little back and forth attacking for a minute. I already have an alpha wolf coming out. Oh, that's not good. You can get rid of that. Tempted to break out the squirrel right away. Hmm. I think I will. It feels pretty bad, but we need to get rid of it. Squirrel! There we go. See, Casey Mon said something had to be done, something. Casey, did you? You tampered with one of my sigils. Not it too powerful, no doubt, but please, no more of that. <clears throat> well, that stinks. That kind of blows away the usefulness of my field mice now. Okay then, let's sort of see how things go. reading two um, blood to get out of those guys so I don't think we can really do anything else for a minute. Oh yeah, you should concede. Hmm, if I kept going though I could maybe get excess damage so let's just go ahead and do it. There we go. I guess I may not have quite hit excess. Came close though. Alright, two different card routes. Some blood or I'm just like a mystery. This one does have a campfire, so I think I'll go that route. Hmm, where did I place that clover? An killable cockroach. A bourbon mantis. 
and the diligent ant. Would be nice to get those, but I think I might go with hmm, Mantis. Okay, let me see if I can step back. I wonder if the puzzle room is reset now where I can actually do stuff in it again. Kind of looks like it might be. That one. So there's the memories. Hmm. <laughs> well, neat. I don't remember this being customizable before. Alright, so we're trying to get a skink and a cat. I'll take a picture of that as a reminder of what we need to get. Okay, let me think. Um, I don't remember the combo things. Still really curious if you can either get either of those out. That would be cool. Maybe the escape room aspect isn't really in this one. Alright, we know how it works. <laughs> Plus two on health. That sounds like a good spot to put the mantis in. And we had an idea. Yeah, I don't think so. We'll go ahead and pull back. Okay. Well, perfect. I should be able to put down the mantis right away and uh, start damaging on these two guys. Okay. Stoke time. Interesting that the stoat is sent back to its fully um, untransformed state. Rider is going to get my mantis, but I'll have a wolf here soon. Good. Okay, we'll get some excess. So far, this is playing pretty normal. does three but only has one HP and it takes six bones to use At that rate I think the porcupine would be the better choice of the two it's a lot of resources just to get it okay I think this might be the sacrifice route and this is the item getting route I think that this is a sigil fight if I remember correctly and Getting to the campfire is all that really matters to me, so let's go the item route, I suppose. Alright, three blood for one. We'll do it. Alright, airborne. There we go. Good, we'll get rid of that skink with the mantis. Now we have an adder that's incoming though. I think that we will put down the stoat over there to take out the skink. With the assistance of the mantis. Nope, oh, it moved out of the way, but that's okay. We at least got rid of that other thing. All 
Alright, we're gonna do a pro gamer move here and uh, sacrifice the goat so that we can play our wolf in the same turn and get rid of that adder. Unfortunately, I think that we're gonna lose our wolf now. Uh, we may have won. Yeah, there we go. It's plenty of excess damage. Sweet. Okay, on to the next one. Alright, field mice is a duplicate. And we could run into those mushroom dudes that want duplicates, so... Hmm... I guess I could take it and see what happens. Okay, so we run into the duplicate dudes. Alright. Here's a power upgrade. Who would be a good candidate for that? I feel like doing the mantis might be a little bit of a waste. Um, field mice, maybe similar story, porcupine. Wolf has a bit of a cost. Maybe the possum would be good. And give it a little bit more meaning. We'll do one more. Okay. Alright, that was good. Oh, that's the wood carver. I always forget the symbol for the wood carver. Alright, an airborne, and I think it's the reptile one, and um, the deer and stuff. I guess we'll take. Hmm, what's in my deck? I guess we'll take the base to start. Alright, is this the first boss battle? Looks like it. Alright, angular, angular time. <laughs> I will have to think about how to take this one out. It's going to be tricky. Getting a porcupine down would be a good idea. This guy's airborne and waterborne too. So that's not good. We'll start with this. I know the angler is going to pull cards out against us too. That stinks. We'll just have to do it, I think. Alright, slow the squirrel, eh? What can we do against that? Not a whole lot, unfortunately. Um, can even use the smoke against them either. So let's put another squirrel down. We should be able to get out the field mice and the possum. Okay. All right, and we'll put the possum down. Fortunately, the angler is going to take something, so I better put the smoke as a deterrent. There we go. Okay, phase two. Alright, these are iron bait buckets. I know they're going to turn into the great lights. Let's see about using 
Fuck, yeah, there's nothing we can do. Alright. Well, I guess let's do another. So let's say do another round of field mice, but they're gonna take out the possum pretty quickly, so maybe I should preserve them for the moment. So I take out everything. Alright. Now it's time for the hook. <laughs> we'll turn him against them. Hmm. Well, the field mice are gonna die, so I guess this is kind of the best we can do, though. Okay. Turns out it was enough. Hey, Kristoff. <laughs> I like your uh, little emoji there. That's hilarious. It's a wide face. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, the long elk. I don't think I ever did successfully get it in a match. Um, Let's see. It is a uh, touch of death card too, so maybe I'll take it with me. Those are all fine cards. Okay. Now I did use up some items, so let's see, what am I sitting here with? Okay, the tooth puller and I've got a bunch of steps up here to decide on. So, we get cards and then items, or we could do a sacrifice and a sigil fight and more cards. Specific beast. Maybe I'll go this route. Could use the items. Okay. Um, these are getting expensive, so. Turkey Vulture requiring eight seems like a bit too much. The Moose Buck sounds like it may be the better of the two, so I think I'll take it. The Pitiful Possum. Some bone tokens. Alright, we'll take the possum with us. Um, yeah, I'll do that as well. There we go. What do we have? A mole and the raven. I have just enough that I could get the stoat down, but it would die to the raven immediately, so I could put it in the middle. Or I could put the possum down to defend. Well, it's not going to defend against the raven, though. Darn it. Um, that might be a waste. So, I guess, let's put the stoat down anyways because it is airborne. Should have remembered it's not going to damage the stoat. So, here we go. Okay. And, let's go from there. Gotta get rid of those ravens. Alright, field mice might be able to help prevent some of this, but the wolf would do even more damage, so I think that's going to be our best bet. Okay, and I think they were about to lose, so we better, better do a pull, I suppose. That barely tipped the scale. I don't know if that'll be enough. They are going to get three damage, so let's just see how much we get here. Might have been a loss. Oh, just cleared it. Okay. Now we're 
I'm talking money here. Let's get down our field mouse. And here we go. I don't think they'll be able to oppose me now. And unfortunately, I wasted my frozen possum, but I guess it remains in my hand. It's part of the deck, I believe. Let's I'll have to check here in a moment. All right. How about we go with the deer? The elk? Good. Okay. Sacrifice time. Hmm. Putting the mantis's power on something would have been nice. How about... See, this is hefty. It shoves it. Okay. Maybe getting rid of the long elk would be a good idea. It is a two sigil thing. It uses four bones, which is a lot. Let's do that. And... Who should we make kind of overpowered here? The mantis roving around with all those powers sounds pretty awesome. Hmm. And the possum with those powers sounds really cool too, though. How about. The wolf. Okay. So this is the trapper, and I don't think I have any pelts in my hand, so no need to stop there per se. Um, I'm not sure what that symbol is. Maybe we'll go up to that out of curiosity. Looks like something I haven't seen before, perhaps. All right, sigil fight. Got ravens and alphas coming at us. Hmm. Porcupine could get the alpha out in two hits. That might be a good idea. Actually, it'll just be one turn since the alpha is uh, gonna get some quill damage. Okay. All right. Now, I guess we have no choice but to draw a squirrel. All right, not looking good. So, we could get the wolf out. We've got two and a three, so I guess going after the raven would be the wisest choice here. go. It'll move right and get the porcupine on the next turn, so let's see if it's enough damage. Oh. Okay. That puts me in a pickle. Oh, I totally did not mean to draw that. Oof. I think that's a loss now. Yep. No way. <laughs> Man, that was a tough fight. I should have used the skip turn to... That was another mistake. At least I'll get to make it to this mystery place. Okay, let's get... Turkey vultures are so expensive though. Hmm. Maybe I'll get it just for the diversity of it. Okay, now what is this thing? Oh no, I thought I had tossed this bottle in the river. No, no, I will make myself useful. I'll paint just like the master. Not as good as the master now. I may make some errors. What shall I paint for you? So I guess this is making a card, huh? Okay. Um. Interesting, so. Maybe let's try the turkey vulture. I have no idea what this is going to do. 
Hmm, yes, let's see what I can do. What do you think? Oh, well, it is improved. Can the master be proud? Please say yes. Is it just like your card? Is it good? Enough. Don't make me put me away again. Okay, well, I get a new card and it has more attack power than my other turkey, so maybe I'll let the weaker of the two go away. Oh no, a stinky fight with birds. Okay. Semantis would be great. I'm gonna park it right there. Just keep hitting our uh, raven over and over. Perfect. I think that'll work. Okay. I think we're gonna have to take another hit, unfortunately. I'm gonna catch up to us, it looks like. Let me do a turn skip. Okay, and we really need to get something fighting this other raven down, so let's go ahead and do it. Oops, there we go. Oh, I hate the stinky power, it's just too much. Too much strength. Alright, good. That's right, you'll pass. Here we go. I think we've got a chance now. Okay. Yep, looks like this is in our hands now. About got enough to play the turkey vulture too, I bet. Not quite. Okay. How to use it my item though. That's the only downside here. Now this looks like a new emblem too, this little guy in the middle. I wonder what it is. Huh. And there's the duplicates, yes. Yep, sorry. I have no pelts. Alright, what does she have for us? Uh, a touch of death on the squirrels would be good. I want to take that. Or on something more meaningful. Maybe not squirrels since they don't have attack power, unless I can find an upgrade for it. Alright, come on, my colleges. What do we have? Field mice and turkey vultures. Let's power up the field mice. They're more likely to be played, so. Four and four. <laughs> Man, that would be hard to stop with that. All right, time for the boss fight with the trapper. Oh, I just realized you don't get a smoke um, card if you uh, don't have a candle to use. That's interesting. All right, have no items too, so this is not a good situation. Perhaps I can put the mantis right here and that'll keep him out of the hitting space of uh, that leaping trap. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Let's see, I don't think I can just sacrifice for it, so. Just put it on the board in front of the rabbit at the moment. Okay. Now we're going to get our possum on the board. Okay. Um, I actually had to sacrifice for it, so I forgot about that. Uh, uh, well, I should put the squirrel over there. That would have been a better spot. 
we might get enough points on us to win. That's a mistake and a half. Okay. Well, definitely have enough that I can play the possum, but what should I do? I guess we'll try this. Okay, good. This is a recovery. Um, I can put this here and I can put the wolf down somewhere that makes sense. How about in front of the strange frog? And that'll have to be it for now. now. Losses defeated one, cards drawn 73, most scales damaged in one turn six, squirrels harmed 32, sacrifices made 32, and misplays nine. Try run at the same config or go out. Let's see. No clover. Okay. Let's see, uh, can't continue your run. Did I unlock anything? Apparently not. Um, okay. Starter decks unlocked. Assume that's just all the same. Hmm. It'll be interesting to read those. I guess let's try another run. Maybe I'll make it further along. Okay. Do I need to do two of these? Maybe. Morning Rex succeeded. Five challenge points added. Pi seatbelts enabled. Maybe I won't do that. I wonder if you have to beat all of Leshy's bosses for it to be a full run or something. Okay. All right, straight to the pelt. All right. I think I can give ringworm to uh, the uh, sacrifice dudes and then sacrifice, or the uh, fireplace, the fire dudes and they will get sick, so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna take a bullfrog, so I have another one blood thing to try. So let's go over here. I accidentally discovered this mechanic. I think I had put my put something in front of here, and they ate it, and then they died, and I didn't put two and two together till later. But we're gonna do it now. Okay. Hopefully that's enough to get them sick. I think it may be Gek and something else might do it too, but I'm not positive. Alright, getting rid of the Alpha. Sounds like the order of the day. Okay. Well, that's hilarious that Frozen Possum has power due to the Alpha being there. Okay, we will put out our stoat next. Okay, time for somebody to take out our alpha issue here. Let's just keep going. Okay. So far, so good. 
conniving raven, a magpie, and a grizzly. Did I use search deck for any card and put it in your hand? Hmm, that could be good. I think I, I've only had it in my hand once or twice, so I don't think I've played it very often. Alright, Woodcarver, give me something good. And he gave me nothing really that good. Let's take this one, the insects. I need to learn what the uh, heads map to because I still don't have it memorized. Alright, an elk fawn. It's going to get in our way. We could take it out with a stone or the bullfrog. I think that we'll start with a bullfrog. Oh, well, that sparrow's going to come in and rock my world now. Alright. Just have to get a stoat down and take out that fawn before it gets big. There we go. Hey, that worked out just right. Now we can get us a magpie going, too. Alright, bullfrog or a wolf? I suppose a bullfrog, since we're going to have to draw some other cards. I don't even know if we'll have enough time. Well, looks like there is time. It's always time for some bullfrog. Bullfrog will block that airborne as well, so that worked out nicely. Okay, let's see if I can buy any pelts. Free pelt. And that's it. Goodbye. Okay, I really want to get to another fire area, so I'm full on items, so I think going to the wood carver makes most sense. Alright. Worthy sacrifice. Card bearing the sigil is counted as three blood. Okay, I think that, that might be the best thing. You know, I don't have any ants yet. It's better than nothing. Hopefully those uh, marauders will be dead at the fire area and I can get a card boosted up really nice and high. Raven egg and a mole. So you now we need to take out that raven egg. All right. There we go. Another way we'll at least have an airborne blocker there. Okay. Alright, time to get a wolf to deal with that raven. Here we are. Oh, it took out most of them all there. Excellent. And a mighty stoat. Wow, cleared that one out pretty quickly. We're going to be over next to that campfire in just a heartbeat. Looks like we're going to get a campfire either way, so can't go wrong. Uh, let's see. A bone requiring one. Yeah, that was a good choice. Cockroaches can be decent. Alright, no living person remained. Alright, what do we want to give some health to? Um, can make a really annoying cockroach. And it's unkillable to you. Or we can make a awesome wolf or bullfrog that just blocks for days. Um, maybe a, maybe a stoat would be a good idea because I've got duplicates of the bullfrog. So let's do the stoat. We'll just get it as high as the game will let us. Oh, it only lets you do twice. I thought it'd let you go higher. Oh well, six health is pretty useful still. Alright. How about a 
cockroach. It's also air an airborne blocker. Nah. Hmm. Maybe we'll do this and we'll give it to hmm, the magpie. That'll give it some more utility. Having it come back to my hand over and over could be a lifesaver. Alright, we got our candle smoke. Let's see what we can do. Alright, trapper. Well, getting bones right away for our eventual um, for our eventual cockroach could be something to do. So let's try starting there and we'll put out I guess a bullfrog against one of the strange frogs. situation we're going to take out the bullfrog with another bullfrog. Okay. I am getting a little bit desperate so maybe I should take out squirrel. How much does this do? Perishes. Ah. That's just a, such a bad situation. It's wasteful really quickly. Hmm. I think we're going to have to do it. can we do? I guess we're going to have to play the wolf against that strange frog. That's an ideal, but what can you do? It's just a shame that the traps kill them. It's just a, such a big hit. Alright, is it magpie time? I think it is. Alright, I can pick out a stoat. I could do. Um, yeah, okay then. I guess we're just going to have to sick all mom out. There we go. This is just the first phase, too. I don't know if this is going to be totally winnable or not. start facing hunger. Yeah, I think I am going to. This isn't good. How did it get this bad? I just did not have enough cards, really. about this phase. Okay. Alright. Hmm. They are pretty weak though compared to how it normally is. Um, I think the ravens may be my biggest threats. This elk fawn is a pretty big threat too though. 
let's uh, keep going. comes to starvation. Yep. That's not good. Maybe I can pull the starvation over. Hey, there we go. And, uh, what else could I do against this guy? Getting the elk fawn on the board might be a good idea. Can't see how powerful it is, though. Um, Okay, the skunk is gonna mess me up in that regard. So never mind. It's not letting me go back. Um, can I get rid of the starvation? Hey, I can. Okay, good. Um, and that'll take out the skunk too. Excellent. And maybe getting a worker ant on the board or raven egg would be a good idea. That's what we need to do. Okay. And I think that might be about it. I wonder if I should do anything else. I feel like this is about all I can do. Okay, this might work. Another starvation though. smart about this. If we could knock out the ringworm, that would get us some damage on the board. And the worker ant is going to become something bigger though. I'm just trying to think of if it matters. Okay. Let's just go with it. There we go. Perfect. I didn't think it would be enough. Run's feeling a little bit better than the last one. The douse, the f that filthy feral hog, it becomes incensed when its chimes are struck. I don't remember that one. The amoeba, what is this one? Bellist, when a card bearing a sigil is played, a, crime, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power and one health. Well, let's try it out. It sounds interesting, at least. Don't know if it's going to be that great, but we'll see. I'm not used to announcing this one. Have you tinkered with the order of my maps, Casey? Very well. Sun rose over to sleepy firs. Birds fluttered across the paths of wolves and elk. You were embarking upon the woodlands. Okay. Let's see what's over here. All right, just one pelt to exchange. So, hmm, I feel like the turkey vulture and the rattler are just too expensive. Corpse maggots might be good, though. I think they've come in handy a time too, so let's try it. Okay. And. I think I'm going to go skip a turn. Alright, what do we have? Longhorn incoming. Tax diagonally too. We need to take it out. I think having a stoke sitting there, chipping away at it is a good idea. Okay. And there we go. get a bullfrog to take out the elk fawn. I think that we will be on a good path. And of course that darn mole. I should have waited another turn or two. Okay, I don't want to take out the stump yet. I think it's helping block things from getting too wild in here. 
not really a wolf. There we go. Now we can get rid of the pronghorn. And I think that we should do that by getting rid of the bullfrog so that the wolf can make some headway. We're going to need that damage and we could put another bullfrog up in front of the stomp and that'll protect against this pronghorn attack that's about to push us really close to the edge. Okay. Let's pull a magpie. Okay, I think we're in the safe zone now. There shouldn't be any way for them to make it come back. Okay. Good, good. A dead kingfisher. The mole might be handy. I like the blocking ability it does, so I think I'll take it. Alright, let's go by the fire. I wonder if they're still dead or not. A few emaciated corpses that lay within. Alright, what did you feed them? The fire looked welcoming as always. So I can do another enhancement. So this one is a power. Um, I wonder if having the douse would be a good one to do. The corpse maggots. Maybe the mole. That would bring some insult and injury to the playing field and a good defense. There we go. Okay. Alright, a raven and a sparrow. Okay. Well, I'm going to put a mold down because it'll get an attack in as well. So we'll do guess right here to start with and that'll be that. Okay. And um I think that's safe to hit play. Okay. Alright, we're gonna need some help from our wolf buddy, I think. I think that's key for our next step. Well, we could also block the sparrow. Alright, thinking that the wolf might be our best bet. damage is going to be done. It's going to be the mole should jump, I think, for these, but I'm not positive. Hmm. So it didn't lose any HP. I think I'm going to need to use something to even a playing field, so we'll have to do this. looking better. Now I can play the magpie and find a good card. Alright. How about corpse maggots? And we have enough to play it too. Good. Adios. Cody is back. I think we'll take it. Wood carver. What can we get from the wood carver? Oh, this is a new one. Bees within. Oh, we seen that. Part of the sigil struck, a bee is created. Okay. So we have a bird head and a fledgling. Hmm. Well, I'm tempted to take 
bird head so we can have a little bit of diversity and actually get something going, but I don't know, fledgling is kind of a nice power too. Um, maybe we'll take the bird head. I don't remember what all I have in my deck. I guess this would be the best way to go about it. Okay, maybe we could sacrifice the magpie for blood. Um, in the same turn we use it and make it worth it. Okay, sigil fight time. Alright, all that blood. Alright, so the raven's just going to move over after its attack. So, what can I get down here? I think putting down a bullfrog to block the heat would be a good idea. There we go. Okay. Worthy sacrifice. I think I'm gonna have to use the squirrel to have a chance here. We'll put this down over here and select out something else. Um, perhaps corpse maggots to get those on the board. And our coyote can join in fun and take out the porcupine. There we go. Somebody had to die. Fortunate, that's the way it goes. Alright, wolf. Alright, not looking the best here. Hitting me pretty hard, honestly. Could pull a tooth. I think I'm gonna have to, actually. I don't think it, we're gonna have a choice on this matter. Yeah. Still not enough to pull myself out of this hole, though. Ah. Okay. That was a hard fight. I'm kind of surprised how tough it was. It kind of went from feeling like I was doing well to just completely overwhelmed. Skunk. Might use its power on something else. Perfect time. Alright, Skunky. Who are you going to help out? How about the stoat? <laughs> That'll make it a little bit more tanky. And perhaps we will sacrifice another one for a good power. Um... I wonder if that would be worth doing. I think it might be. Let's try it. Who would we want to put out there? Maybe the wolf? That has some power and it's a little bit expensive too, so maybe that would be a wise move. Putting expensive ones out for free, essentially. Just have a squirrel die and it'd be replaced. Okay. Alright, how are we going to take us out? We need to get rid of that pack mule. We know that that's a big problem here. Well, let's just uh, throw our stoat over to it and uh, keep going. about to have a wolf cub. That's rough. I'll get some damage on the board started. 
pack mule shouldn't be able to escape. Okay. I think it will be okay. Alright, the wolf is on the board. And we have the douse. What could we do about that? Um, don't think that I can sacrifice a boulder, right? Nope. Wonder if we're gonna have to put the squirrel in front of that. I had no items to use either, so I'm in a bad way. All right. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna have to do something like this wolf will get some counter damage but the tool, two wolves are going to cancel each other out so it doesn't really help in that regard. He can gain a slight boost um, by blocking this wolf with the squirrel. It's not ideal but that's still give me plus one overall I think. Okay. Pack Mule will be defeated on the next turn, too. So I've got to keep that in mind. That might give me just enough to turn this around. Oh, yeah. I got your mule, buddy. All right. Let's see what we have here. We have a bat we can take out. Um... The wolf is going to do excess damage and take out with the wolf cub and the coyote. If I could get something here in front of the coyote, that would be good. Got an angry beaver. Um, takes two. And then the douse is also something I could try out. Let's do the douse just for fun since I've never played it. We can put it here. And then we'll put a bat over here just to start taking some hits on the wolf, or actually it'll hit in the background, um, but it'll deflect, so we need it to do that too. Okay. Okay. Guess uh, time for a kingfisher, eh? Prospector's gonna ruin my good cards here, so that's not good. Well, I am in the bind and a half here. Bullfrog. Nothing to sacrifice. I think this probably means I'm about to lose. Okay. Beaver and a bullfrog. I have to take on all these other guys. Man, they're really shutting me down hard. Um, I don't think there's much I can do. I think I'm just going to have to take the loss. Bullfrog will take out the wolf, but then there's plus five there, and I don't think I want to be able to survive all that. Nope. Jeez. What a rough run. I'm assuming I still haven't unlocked anything. Cards drawn, 98. And scrolls harmed. Sacrifices made, 42. And less misplaced. Um, let's just, uh, oh, I'd say no clover. I wonder if that just gets you to a replay or something. Um, actually, let's go back to stats. A lot of stuff. Hmm. All right. Well, I think I'll just have to call it a day for now and say thanks for watching. This has been STR Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Rank, and I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good one.